Alrighty, boys and girls, friends and neighbors, loved ones and fans. We got the uh, Yes Welder Arc 205 DS welder out. We're doing an odd job here. Jake's uh, working on these legs that we're making for the miller. The problem with the miller is, is it's not really a problem, but it weighs a ton. And to move this thing around constantly, like we're having to do, it hurts. So we saw that originally it came with an axle kit, so we made our own wheels, set up our own axle. Now we're making the handles, because that jack right there, we need the jack. And in order to put the miller down, we need the, the jack. Sorry, in order to, to use the jack, to raise the front of the workbench because it's on one heck of a slope I don't know how it shows up in the camera but take my word for it it's probably down about an inch and a half in the front and it's very irritating to work on so we made some feet up rough and dirty <clears throat> let me see them so all I did was take some uh, I'm going to sand these because they were just hideous Took some carriage bolts, half half inch carriage bolts. And we're gonna make feet to go in there. I bought them long because I don't know what I'm gonna need, right? So it doesn't matter. Carriage bolts are nice to work with sometimes because they're threaded all the way, as you can see. So we're gonna, we've been using the Yes Welder. Now I had the first crack on it because Jake was in the house. And uh, I was playing with some Lincoln Fleet Rod and that Jake's telling me that that's a pipe rod? Kind of. It's different things. Yeah, it's different. It's for galvanizing and, and tight penetration. But I switched over to the Hobart 7014. And uh, night and day. Stuff flows like caulking. It's amazing. I got some in uh, Forney, I think. I bought another five pound sleeve. But I have this the Hobart, and I think I bought the Hobart on Amazon as well as the Forney. So Jake's gonna try to run that. Like Jake's not really a. Would you call you wouldn't call yourself a stick guy, would you? No, I did tons and tons and tons of it in school, but I don't get the opportunity to weld much anymore because of where I'm working. So there's certain rules and stuff. So it's been a long time since I pounded the stick every night. For a while there, I was getting pretty good at it. But mostly for myself, it's making TIG welding, I would say. But yeah, Jake, Jake's a TIG artist. I did lots of stick in the steel mill, fixing dies, uh, fixing fixing fixtures. Um, we had limited resources to equipment, so everything. I mean, I was burning quarter-inch rod. That's crazy. At uh, you know, 300 amps. I think it was 300. I don't know. Don't don't quote me on that. Uh, Jake's gonna give that a shot again. This little welder, if you get the right rod, the thing works. So, I mean, I did a review on it and uh, yeah, we're using it. We're gonna set it up next to the bench because it's that handy. And right now, I mean, I incinerated those half inch bolts and we're running her off the bench. That's 110 volts, you know? We don't have the big power in the garage. This is what we got for power. That's it. We don't have a we don't have a 240 volt circuit here. Matter of fact, when we moved in, that was only on 110 out here. Both both sides of that um, box were jumped together. We fixed all that. We ran a, a temporary feed wire across the basement to get power out here. Uh, this runs on the Lincoln SP. Uh, 125 plus runs on uh, 110 volts but the plasma cutter needs 220 our uh, hypertherm that, that that's a heartbreaker the hypertherm power max 380 you can't get parts for it uh, they discontinued it I don't understand that I mean it's a good running machine I'm really disappointed with hypertherm with that that just uh, that's just crazy in my world but it is what it is. And anyway, we'll get back to the Arc Walt. The Arc 205 DS. What a monster. Okay, Jake, let's let's uh 
let's scratch scratch that baby get it going he's just on the edge trying to weld a washer I mean literally guys this is a 110 volt welder Oh, he's getting fancy. He's going all the way around. Oh, you bugger. Trying. Fancy, fancy. Take that. Hold on a minute, Jake. Take that, uh... Take that, that body hammer there and knock the slag off of there real quick. The body hammer's right there, the yellow one. Let's get that slag now. Not bad, Walt. I no, say. not too bad. Look. I mean, we're dicking around here. We're just making these dirty handles up to go on there. I mean, this machine, I mean, you buy one of these and throw it in your shop. And when it sticks, it doesn't it doesn't load up like a transformer machine. It shuts down. Look at the restrike on that uh, Bobart rod. It was nice stuff. It's not bad at all. Runs smooth, eh? Yeah. Now that's uh, E7014. If you guys look that up. That's uh, it has a strength of 7018, but it's not a low hydrogen rod, so you don't gotta have all the hoopla to store it. You can run this stuff, you know, have a box of it in the back of the pickup truck, and you don't gotta worry about it taking on hydrogen. And I mean, really, guys, if you had this, we're gonna, I'm gonna set up a, a weld one day. We're gonna try the uh, Yes welder. Look at that, we got our first scratch on it. Would you look at that? Oh! Oh, there goes the vol. He ran by. He was hiding under the trailer. It's running like a Cadillac. Firing on all eight cylinders. Look at that. Yeah, anyway, getting back to that. This is a great rig. So if you had this kicking around in your shop and you needed to do a quick weld. Uh, For the price. <laughs> but they have gone up because what often happens with these Chinese uh, Chinese machines, and I see this a lot of my some of my personal hobbies. I won't get into it too much, but they'll kind of test the waters with putting out something junky, and then if it gets good reviews, they'll jump the price on it or they'll launch something that's better. And I think now some of these units we were looking one was six or seven hundred bucks, wasn't it? Some of the yes folders, there's a multi process unit. Yeah, there's got. a much. Yeah, it's that's a, a bit. bit more. And this one's getting harder to find. And so. This one's just a straight up. You can probably scratch. I think you can scratch tick with this. I'm not sure. I'd have to look up the. Uh, you would be able to with a. Uh, yeah, you would because you can. Uh, you could run it. You'd have to run your gas nozzle on your torch, but you could do a scratch tick setup with this. You just don't have a gas control. The we got voles in here. They're like fat mice. No, oh, well. Anyway, getting back to this. Something's got him. Is there a weasel in here or something? We got a weasel in here? Yeah, I can hear him squealing. Here? Yeah. Wow. Anyway. Anyways, let's finish this weld. So there it is, the Yes Welder. Arc 205 DS. We did the review on it. This is a one year later review for whatever that means. I love this little thing. I love it. I'm not gonna lie. It's great. For the money that you pay, this blows. Ellie, you guys, you guys. If you're uh, you're Canadian, uh or you're not, maybe, I don't know, Harbor Freight. Some of them junk tin welders, the Mastercraft stuff in, the, in Canada from Canadian Tire. That's crap. I've used them, it's crap. I fixed a race car, a winning race car, at a racetrack with one of those hooked to a generator. What a friggin' disaster. Got it done though. Anyway, getting back to the, the you guys gotta try one of these, honestly. You gotta try it. 
it's quite the machine okay so there it is just in case anybody was doubting it i mean if you guys want mention something in the comments we'll run some big fat long beads with it put it to the test but i think we'd probably have to get 120 up first the next video you're going to see about the the, the we're going to test it on the generator so we've got a generator here uh, i got a honda generator construction generator we'll set it up and see how it runs on that and see if we can get a good a good weld with it so that'll be it for today uh if you're new to the channel welcome for sure if you're not welcome back and thank you guys uh you saw the uh the chipper shredder fiasco no, that's all i got to say about that and uh we're gonna get back to uh working on this and getting the work the bench set up because we're behind on projects and uh yeah got some company coming this weekend anyway like subscribe ring the bell for more content please subscribe we're, we're uh and it's not just me it's all the content providers we're we're, we're all averaging around six percent of the people who view hit the subscribe button and i'm trying to figure out why that is i mean i don't know anyway like subscribe ring the bell see you soon take care god bless and uh yeah love the one you're with. if you can't find the one whatever love the one you're with like the song says